Yes, people, what is going on? So today, we're going to be talking about Arsenal and Uruguay's midfield general, Lucas Torreira. The 22-year-old defensive midfielder has been brilliant since he came into the team at Everton, and he's looking like he could be one of Arsenal's best signings over recent years. Arsenal fans have been pleading for a quality defensive midfielder ever since Vieira left and they may have found one in Torreira. Sure, only time will tell whether Torreira will go and emulate the success of Vieira, but there is no doubt Torreira has had a significant impact on the Arsenal team so far. Torreira began his footballing career at his local side, 18 de Julio, before moving on to Montevideo Wanderers of the Uruguayan Premier League. In the summer of 2013, it was Italian Serie B side Pescara who brought the young Uruguayan over into European football. However, it wasn't until the 16th of May 2015 did Torreira make his professional debut against Verazzi. Following his debut, Torreira remained ever-present in the Pescari squad, helping them reach the Serie B playoff final where they just fell short to Bologna. Having only made five appearances for Pescara's first team, it was Sampdoria who had seen enough to take a chance on a young Torreira. The following season, Torreira was loaned back to Pescara in order to gain first team experience. His first full season as a professional was a successful one. Not only was Torreira a key player throughout the season, but he also helped Pescara win promotion to Serie A. Torreira returned to Sampdoria and was immediately thrown into the heart of their midfield. At Sampdoria, Torreira established himself as one of the brightest prospects in Italian football. But it was not until the 2018 World Cup did Torreira burst into the spotlight. Torreira was one of the standout players for Uruguay. His energy and robust style caught the eyes of many of Europe's top clubs. Although it was Arsenal who managed to secure the signature of Torreira for a fee of £26 million. A bargain according to his previous Sampdoria manager, Marco Giampaolo who said that Torreira would be worth 100 million euros if he was a few inches taller. So let's take a look at what really makes this young man such a special talent and why he is so highly thought of at Arsenal. So under Unai Emery, Torreira plays as a defensive midfielder in a 4-2-3-1 formation. Torreira's role at Arsenal is to primarily sit in front of the back four. This is to provide additional support for the defenders and be the link between the attack and the defence. Despite Torreira's reputation of being a tenacious midfielder whose role is to break up play, He's also very technically gifted and very comfortable in possession of the ball. Torreira very much fits Arsenal's philosophy of possession-based football. He would look to receive the ball off the back four and constantly move the ball between his teammates until there's an opportunity to break the opposition's defensive line. This is very similar to Jorginho's role at Chelsea. But what Torreira possesses that Jorginho and Xhaka don't have is the ability to carry the ball forward and bring his team further up the pitch. Despite being only 5'5", five five, Torreira is incredibly athletic and this athleticism enables him to carry the ball and break the opposition's defensive line. If you watch Marco Verratti at PSG, it's no coincidence why the two players are constantly compared to one another. So when the opposition are in possession of the ball, Torreira is a nightmare to play against. He is a defensive-minded player who is very good at stopping the opposition's attacks. His ability to read the game enables him to break up the opposition's attacks when they look to play through Arsenal defensive lines. He will then look to intercept the ball and then start the counter-attack. If an attacker or midfielder receives the ball, Torreira's energy and athleticism enables him to go and press the opposition, giving them no time on the ball. A perfect example of this was when Arsenal played Liverpool, as Torreira and Arsenal would double up on Liverpool's front three, ensuring they did not have much success as they did not have no time on the ball. In effect, Torreira's defensive and physical qualities enable him and his Arsenal teammates to carry out Emre's philosophy of pressing high up the pitch. So it's only when Arsenal play without Torreira can we really see his impact on the side. With Torreira, Arsenal scored 27 goals and conceded only 11, compared to only scoring 5 goals and conceding 7 goals when he is not in the team. So Torreira has many different attributes, but three of his key attributes are his anticipation. Torreira is very good at reading the game and anticipating the opposition's next move. This ability to anticipate what the opposition are going to do enables him to pick up the right positions in order to break up play and regain possession. Another key attribute of Torreira's is his tenacity. Torreira has offered Arsenal something they haven't had since Patrick Vieira, and that is a willingness to do the dirty work. He will run, tackle and battle in the heart of Arsenal's midfield, giving the forward-thinking players more opportunities to flourish. Finally, a key attribute of Torreira's is his passing. Torreira has an excellent passing range and is often used as a pivot in front of the back four. On top of that, Torreira has an excellent eye for a forward pass and is very good at playing through the opposition's defensive lines. So that is how Torreira plays and why he has been so successful at Arsenal this season. So is Torreira Arsenal's best signing over the last 10 years? Will he go on to emulate the success of Patrick Vieira? Let me know in the comments section below. But once again, don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And until next time, peace.